Hi guys, I want to talk about blood sugars. I want to talk about what is a normal blood sugar. Um, well, typically it's between 80 and 100 milligrams per deciliter. Sometimes it could be 70 if you're, you know, it can go down if you're completely giving up sugar, it can go even lower. And that's a total normal situation. Now what does this mean, 80 to 100 milliliters per deciliter? Basically that means the ratio of how much sugar that you have in your blood. Now, an average person of 165 pounds has one and one-third gallons of blood in their body, okay? A gallon and one-third of a gallon of blood. Um, and the, if it was normal, let's say it was 90, okay, right in the middle, that would be kind of a heaping, slightly more than a teaspoon. Not quite a heaping, but slightly, a little bit more than a teaspoon of sugar per all this blood, okay? That's, if we diluted that, that would be 90, okay? That would be normal blood sugars. And you can actually convert protein and even fat into sugar. So you don't even need carbs to get this normal ratio. But an average American consumes 31 teaspoons of sugar every single day. That's 100 and 30 to 145 pounds of sugar a year, and an average lifetime, it's a dumpster full of sugar. Now, this is why most of the population is becoming pre-diabetic and di diabetic. And the problem is they don't know that they're actually a diabetic yet, or they don't know they're a pre-diabetic because it's not showing up on the blood test, okay? It won't show up because it starts off small and it gets worse and worse and worse and then one day you have it. Okay, but some of the symptoms are, um, you know, you get tired after you eat, you crave sweets, you ha you're not satisfied after you eat, you can't go many hours without eating, and then when you eat you feel better. That's a pre-diabetic situation. But you don't need a lot of sugar in your diet to have a normal blood sugar. In fact, I recommend you go zero sugar and uh, your sugars will be, you will clear up so many health problems if you do that. Okay, so here's two, two points I'm gonna make. You don't need sugar, okay? Like some people say, well, doesn't your brain run on sugar? No, it can run on fat. It can run on other fuels. You, your body does not need sugar, all right? Put your comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It was called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. 
um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.